The heart has four chambers, but we can break it down into upper chambers and lower chambers. And the upper chambers can be thought of as priming the lower chambers, which then give the power beats out to the lung and to the whole body. So the upper chambers are the lub, and the lower chambers are the dub. Lub, dub. The heart rhythm originates in the upper chambers, and it passes then all the upper chambers contract. There's a slight delay, and then the lower chambers contract while the upper chambers are relaxing in slow, in slow motion. If electricity starts going haywire in the upper chambers so that it doesn't just contract everything and then there's no more electricity and everything relaxes, if it starts circulating around and around, it starts making these muscle fibers contract chaotically. And once we have chaotic contraction, we lose the pumping mechanism. Not only do we lose the pumping mechanism so that it's sitting there with randomly firing muscle fibers, but that constant electricity starts pummeling the lower chambers with signals to beat, and they can go very fast. That chaotic electrical activity in the upper chambers, which results in lack of coordinated contraction, stops the pumping mechanism and fires rapid beats to the lower chambers, and that's what atrial fibrillation is.